the cell cycle and mitosis is the topic of this week's lab and we'll be considering the whole life cycle of the cell but more specifically we'll be focusing on the phases during which the cell divides and so you're going to be spending most of your time studying the process you'll be preparing onion root tip slides or at least looking at prepared ones depending on how much time we have in lab and you'll be looking at some animal slides as well to observe cells in the process of cell division. So, what is mitosis? This week's lab is about cell division and you'll be studying cell division in both plants and in animals. So you'll be studying a eukaryotic process that is basically the process of from one cell creating two identical daughter cells that are also identical to the parent cell. And why is this such a problem? Well, because the DNA is contained within the nucleus. So you'll really be considering the life cycle of the cell, uh, what it does during the bulk of its life cycle, and how specifically it reproduces to form a daughter cell exactly the same as itself in terms of its genetics. So what am I holding here? I have a little tiny onion. It's like a little cocktail onion. And you can see it still has the onion paper skin here. But if I peel it away, what I see is that I've got a shoot that's emerging. And how is it that this onion is growing? Well, it's producing new cells by using mitosis. So new cells are forming through mitosis. And of course, if I were to plant this onion in the ground, it would also grow roots. So let me draw your attention to the model that I have here to my left, to your right. So this model represents an onion root tip. Here's the bottommost part of the root. Here's the part that would be closer to the onion bulb. And of course, as the onion begins to grow a root, that root has to push down into the soil. So there's a protective tip of dead cells down here at the bottom. But within the zone of cell division, which is gonna be approximately in this region, what you'll see is that there's a lot of cell division going on. And so you're gonna spend some time in lab looking in this region of tiny thin slices, sections of onion root tips in order to find cells in the different phases of cell division. Notice there are three sections of root tip on this slide. One, two, and three. Mitosis is a process of cell division, and in this process of cell division, a single cell divides to form two daughter cells which are exactly identical genetically. So why is this such a problem? Well, in eukaryotic cells, there's a membrane-bound nucleus, and the membrane-bound nucleus contains the DNA. So how do we divide two copies of DNA into two cells? Well, it's gonna take some rearrangement. We need to break down the nucleus, and eventually move the DNA into the two opposite ends of the cell to be ready for division of the cytoplasm, cytokinesis. And so if you'll check pages 236 and 237 in your textbook, you're gonna find an excellent diagram that's gonna help you to understand the mitotic process you'll be studying in lab this week. Mitosis is also the process by which animal cells set up their body plans. So you'll also examine these whitefish blastula where you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sections where you should be able to see cells in the various phases of mitosis. And so by the end of lab, you should be pretty familiar with what cell division mitosis looks like in plant cells and animal cells. Remember, it's a common process that we see in eukaryotic organisms.